How to write a great song, next on Music Surgery with Dr. Bob. Well, unfortunately, no one really knows how to write a great song because most songwriters can whip out a good song, but basically write and write until a great one pops out. Songwriting's difficult to talk about because much of it is based on taste and opinion. I love one song that my wife hates, she loves one song that I hate, who's right, who's wrong. Being that art is so subjective, we can't really focus on the end product of a song, but we can talk about techniques in songwriting that will lead to better instincts in songwriting, that will lead to better and more developed songs, that will lead you to euphoria when you stumble into writing a great one. Ah. Oh. Rest assured, you'll soon be back to writing good ones, but that's okay. Writing a good song is still a great exercise. Don't get discouraged as every song will teach you something. This week, let's talk about lyric writing. We all have our own version of what a great lyric is, but let me give you four simple concepts to shoot for that can open up your lyric writing to some new challenges. The first concept, a huge Nashville writing concept, is what's the title? Having a clear title to a song focuses the story and makes it easier to look at and write different angles to take from that story. For instance, if my song title is Yesterday, I could write about missing the past, running from the past, you can't change the past, learning from the past, someone in your past, forgetting the past, or coming to terms with the past. Also, having a clear direction where you want to end up makes the path getting there easier to write, especially if you're co-writing. The title gives everyone in the room the same destination, but feels free to find different paths to get there. The title is also like the thumbnail to a video. The more compelling it is to draw people in, the better. Live like you're dying, a boy named Sue. I said I loved you, but I lied. Seeing those titles makes me want to know what the song is about. The second lyric concept I want to talk about is find a different way to say things that are more visual or scenic. Visuals go a lot further than words. Now, I realize some of you may not be country fans, but there are some great lyric visual concepts to study here to apply to any genre. So listen beyond your taste and take a look at these two lyrics on Hometowns. The first one is by Jason Aldean. Still black marks on that county road Where we drag raced our pickups and Mustangs And weathered all the sun and rain And to this day up on that overpass Even underneath the new paint You can still see Allie, will you marry me? I take a ride and look around And there ain't no doubt Now, a Bruce Springsteen lyric. I was eight years old and running with a dime in my hand To the bus stop to pick up a paper from my old man To sit on his lap in that big old beautiful Tassel my hair, say something, good look around, this is your hometown. Specific makes of cars, painted over overpass love note signs, fading racing stripes on the highway, a boy sitting in his father's lap getting his hair tousled, the visual of a tattoo, racing pickups, a boy running with a specific currency in his hand. These are all visual, like movie scenes. You can close your eyes and see the song unfold. Write your emotions and your story with imagery, and your songs will come to life. The third lyric idea I want to suggest is look for a twist. Just like a great movie with a shift in the story that surprises you, same with songs. What does a twist look like? This twist comes at the first chorus of the song. Check it out. You 
said I was in my early forties with a lot of life before me. When a moment came that stopped me on a dime, I spent most of the next days looking at the X-rays, talking about the options, and talking about sweet time. I asked him when it sank in that this might really be the real end. How's it hit you when you get that kind of news? Man, what'd you do? And he said, I went skydiving, I went Rocky Mountain climbing, I went 2.7 seconds on a full name Blue Manchu. And he said, someday I hope you get the chance to live like you were dying. Just when you think you're going to hear a big sappy chorus about getting your affairs in order or dying young because your time's running out, it slaps you in the face with positivity, enlightenment, and making the most of every moment. Absolutely brilliant. The fourth lyric topic I want to talk about is how do the lyrics sing? How do they sound? Even if you're telling an amazing story, remember this is not poetry. It's music. And phonetically and of course rhythm scheme wise, your lyrics have to sound good when they're sung. Sometimes the perfect line just doesn't sound good coming out of the singer's voice and you're back to the drawing board. Don't settle for a great line that doesn't sound good. Hey, many incredible songs don't need a heavy story or any of the concepts I've already talked about in this video. Just a great sounding line. Sometimes the greatest lyrics just sound fun and cool, and that's just as important as writing Imagine or God Only Knows. Sometimes people don't want to be bothered with thinking and they just want to dance to uptown funk. Nothing wrong with that. Think about these concepts when writing lyrics. If you can understand the concepts, then you can slowly start to think about how they present themselves in your songwriting. Hey, and even if you're not a songwriter and you're involved in mostly producing and mixing, it's important to know these types of songwriting mechanics to be able to suggest to artists or songwriters. Remember, you can be slaving away on the perfect production or the perfect vocal comp or the perfect mix, but it's only going to be as good as the song itself. Hey you guys, we've got cheap and free crap for you. Sumner, put the right script up there. Come on, man. I'm trying to get... Hey guys, please take time to subscribe and ring the bell below to notify you of new surgeries. Also take a look around in my store for some great cheap and free stuff. And one last thing, the doctor's lounge is open and in full swing. Come on, join us, get some amazing samples, stems, or one-on-one -on -one mix, production, or music advice. This is a really cool and super affordable thing, so check it out and see if it's for you. All the links are below in the description of this video. Thanks a lot. Well, that's it for this week. Go out and write a great one. It's a little more talking this week than our normal studio section, but these are very important concepts to anyone's music. Remember to take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you the next time The Doctor's In.